ready for a random vlog? I know you are. I really need to learn to control the modulation of my voice. I'm kind of like that Will Ferrell character where I just yell all the time. It's because I'm deaf. Like, no joke. I'm actually like loss of hearing. Or what the hearing doctor told me is that I was born with less of a degree of hearing than everybody else. I don't know. Ah, oh, fail. I will make it work. Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, I just drooled. Ugh. Failure! Let's celebrate that I can't make the straw paper fly around. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <sighs> Brood to perfection. God, I really just drooled like all over myself. That is so attractive. I bet that's the number one quality that every nice gentleman in the world looks for in a lady. Does she drool on herself? Yes. Check. Okay. She's dateable. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm kind of crazy today. Never mind. I'm kind of crazy every day. <sighs> Should I start off with telling you guys some exciting news? I think so. Uh, please excuse the mounds of clutter in this car. This is the car I used to film in. I, that's so stupid. This is the only car I have. I honestly need Martha Stewart or some professional organizing type person to come into my life and organize me professionally. Seriously. It's just my car. There's no hope anymore. And I feel like my house, there's no hope anymore either. Cause I just keep antiquing and getting like strange specimens just we won't talk about that uh i no longer have a cabinet of oddities i have a house of oddities it's just like all kinds of bones we won't go there i swear i'm not a murderer i'm buried under my stuff i need help so I guess I'll start out with a super, super, super exciting thing that I have to tell you guys. Cause I had an idea that was actually inspired by many of you guys. I feel like everything is inspired by you guys. A lot of you were saying that maybe it would be cool to have some kind of forum or some kind of group or some kind of something where people could talk to each other. So I finally made a Facebook group. So this is different than my Facebook page which is still www.facebook.com slash graveyard girl. That's still where you can like talk to me where I'm going to be posting all the video links. Da 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 da. I try and stay in touch with everybody as much as I can on that page and reply back to questions. But I created a Facebook group called the Swamp Family and I'm still not exactly 100% sure about how you go about searching for the URL, but I think it's facebook.com slash groups slash swamp family, or probably if you did a Facebook group search for swamp family, there's only one group called swamp family and it's got a little icon of a skull next to it. I am of course an admin and then my super duper awesome friend who handles a lot of my technical design stuff for me. He also made my Tumblr thing and everything. I'm sure if you've been on my my channel any length of time you've heard me refer to Ariel Bambino so when I'm not allowing people into the group he is it's kind of cool because we live in different time zones I could not be more thrilled with how it's going already I was in a horrible mood yesterday and I came home and I saw that and I just it literally almost made me cry because I was so excited because it's going exactly how I wanted it to and it's totally a perfect thing so that all the Swamp family members, you guys can all talk to each other. And the other thing that I got it for is mainly what I got it for is I know and I saw some really cool posts about, hey, do you live here? Oh, do you live here? And like somebody did one about like, do you live anywhere in Europe? And literally I'm so shocked and excited to see so many Swamp family members from so many different countries. It's amazing. I feel like we have somebody in every country in the world and that's awesome. The main reason why I thought that this would be an awesome feature to have is I know that a lot of you guys suffer from anxiety or depression or you know even like I've heard some people who struggle with self-harming and everything else like that and so I thought that this would be a great 
great thing that people could go to any time of day or night and just make a post and be like, hey, I really need somebody to talk to, or hey, do you guys go through this too? What are some of your strategies? Yada, yada, yada. You know, because I try to be on every social media as much as I can. I honestly try so hard to answer back as many people as I can. I created this group because I honestly do love you guys and I really think that it's important for us all to maybe have a network where we can just, you know, try and reach out to each other and I think it's a lot faster or it's a lot easier to read what everyone's posting I think because it's more of in an old Facebook style layout and I really miss the old layout. I like the cover photo thing at the top but it's so much harder for me to reply back to people now because it just like puts everybody in this stupid little box on the side corner and I hate it. I hate how that looks. I would much rather have what y'all write be mixed in with everything that I write instead of my stuff being like 500 times bigger than everyone else's. I just think that that's lame. That's one thing that I really appreciate about Facebook groups is that everyone's post is just like in the middle of the page. I saw all kinds of cool stuff going on there last night, you know, people asking what people's zodiac signs are and, you know, tips about hair, like, hey, I'm dying my hair black or, you know, just tips about anything just or um, lots of people were sharing their tumblr links and stuff like that and I just think that that is gonna be an awesome networking tool because I don't know if this sounds cultish, but I love the Swamp Family and I love you guys. And I think the more that we can all be in touch with each other and really like network out of this, learn things about each other, answer each other's questions, that would be awesome. And then if anybody's having any kind of problem with anxiety or depression or just anything, anything in the world, you had a crappy day or you know, you're not feeling good or just anything in the world that's going on with you that you need help with or you just are looking for a friend, head on over to the Swamp Family group on Facebook and it will be awesome. So I thought it's been a while since I've properly embarrassed myself on this channel and I know that this is like a subject matter that quite apparently interests you guys. Does it? I don't know. I keep, I've, I've talked about it twice on Twitter now and actually I just looked at her name again on Twitter and her name is Ariel. How is this possible? Do I know like everyone in the world with that name? It's like, I feel like it's such a rare name and then it's like, I know everyone with that name. But she asked me to make a video about it and then ask you guys to video response it. So isn't this gonna be fun? Not only do I get to embarrass myself, but it's a fun thing that we can do. Yes. So I've had this dream twice this week now and this is just like total proof that I'm forever alone and somewhat pathetic in some sense, but I'm okay okay with that and I'm okay with just putting it out there on the internet so everyone can have a good laugh at my expense. So I've had this crazy vivid dream twice this week about this guy and I know I said he's a mystery guy on Twitter but I actually know who he is and I met him once and he was like the hottest, greatest, most handsome, intellectual guy I've ever met in my life. But. We won't go there. Mm. Okay, this is so strange. Can't contain, can't contain my strangeness. You know when it's kind of like you know of someone or maybe you even have met them and you don't, it's not like you really know them or that you know everything about them, but just like for some reason that person sticks with you and you like put them in some kind of like group where you're like most perfect person ever and it's like just stupid oh and it's not Johnny Depp just in case any of you guys are wondering do you ever have those like vivid dreams and I don't even care if it's a nightmare I love having like vivid dreams where it's like you feel like you can smell things and touch things and it feels like you're really like touching them in some kind of like alternate universe or I don't know it whatever it may be you could maybe dream about elephants and be like oh nice elephant so creepy okay I had this dream last night and in this dream I started spontaneously dancing with the most perfect man in the world but it's like I had my arms like wrapped around his shoulders and he had these and I guess it's cause maybe I like skeletons and bones but it's like when I was 
touching around his shoulders. When I had my hands wrapped around, like, you know, like how you would do this and then you would maybe touch someone's shoulder, just the, everyone around me is just probably like, can we call somebody and commit this crazy lady talking to herself in her car? It's like I could touch, what is this called? It's like a shoulder blade. Nah, this thing right here, it's like, it was protruding and I was like touching it and I was like nice shoulder bone <laughs> it's not okay not okay but I liked it in my dream I have really false expectations about relationships and just any man that I could dream up even based off of real man would be nine thousand times better than any guy I could date in real life. It's just, it's sad. And I don't think I even have like high expectations, you know? I just feel like every guy that I would date is a jerk. Big jerk. Just, I want a nice gentleman to date. I don't know. I want to date a guy that's older than me. Just because it would be good, I feel. I'm kind of okay with this. I just want like a separate dream reality in which I keep having these great dreams and then I'm fine with it. I just, I won't date anyone, like really. I'm just gonna date my dream boyfriend who's real, but not really real and certainly would probably think I'm bizarre. It would probably be unacceptable. Unwelcome. Don't dream about me. I just, like that would, I would cry. I would cry if my dream boyfriend in real life told me to not dream about him. That would be too much. I would cry. I would cry so much that it would fill like a cereal bowl and then I would eat like frosted flakes in my tears frosted tear flakes. It would be sad. <laughs> I just came from the post office. Isn't that fun? That's my favorite part of the day. Swamp Family Mail. Swamp Family Mail. It's my favorite part of the day. It's my favorite. Should I open? <gasps> I could open today's mail. It could be a mail vlog. Oh my god. This is an entire mail vlog. I'm talking about mail or males like men. Oh my god. It was actually kind of cool because today's mail seemingly had a theme. Like, and the theme was cartoons. Like, cartoon box? How cool is this? It's a box. It's also cartoons. And then, this is Spider-Man. Isn't that cool? I think so. Oh my god, this will be like my first ever live mail opening. Hopefully nobody sent me a brain. Unless it's a plastinated brain. That's always welcome. How does this box open? Not smart enough to open a box. They never taught me this in school, how to open boxes. Oh my God, if y'all like documentaries that are thought provoking and disturbing at the same time, watch The War on Kids. It's on Netflix and it's about how terrible the education system is. It will make you think twice and then maybe cry by the end, or at least I did. <gasps> Look at this, extra patriotic looking paper. I have never had blue bubble wrap in my life. Ew! It's nail polish. <gasps> Chunky glitter top coat. It's from a drugstore, which means it's something I can't normally get by myself. This is so awesome. Oh my God, I love every single one of these. It's by a brand called Spoiled. This is so cute. Jewelry heist, look at that. Does look like a jewelry heist. This one is called Shuffle the Deck. I guess it's supposed to be like playing cards. Isn't that pretty? This one is Trust Fun Baby, but it really looks like Mardi Gras colors, which is so cool. And then this one is Pet My Peacock. That sounds kind of like Wet My Whistle or whatever that weird one was. I like this, it's nice. And then this one, My Saturn Broke Down. That's hilarious. That's a nice blue one. And then this one is purple and it's called Battle of the Sexes. I like that too. And we have bubble wrap. so much from Molly and I'm gonna totally read your letter um maybe like not when oh I will I, I will open it because you said that there's goodies inside I like that word goodies she sent me some buttons from Alice in Wonderland the Tim Burton version 
and I have a Helena, Hel Helena, Helena bottom cutter button now. I'm gonna put these in my car and I will read your letter, not on camera. I started doing a new thing with Swamp Mail letters that you guys send me because I like to read them over and over again when I'm sad and lonely. So I put them in a binder in sheet protectors so that I can flip through and read them more than once. I like it. I got another box from Caitlin. This is so cute. She got me a pin from Disney. Oh my God, there's a fly in my car. Ugh. I feel bad about reading people's letters on camera because a lot of times there's personal stuff written in them. She sent me a self-addressed return, return address stamped envelope, which means I will be writing you back. If you send me a return address envelope with a stamp on it, I will write you back. It may take me a week or two to write you back, but I will write you back, I promise. I got a letter from Cassidy, and she sent me some Tinkerbell stickers. That's nice and purple. I will read that when I get home. I got a letter from Allie. So, is this your envelope? Allie, did you send this? Corin. that's a beautiful name. Corin, is this your letter? And this is from an Elise. That's a pretty name too. I feel like that's kind of like an old style name. This came today. And this one doesn't have a name. But, if I'm, if, 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 uh, but it's from Canada and it has these owls on the back. So I will wait till later to find out who sent me that. Oh, let's open this like big looking one. From someone named Monique. Open it with care. I love this so much. Okay, somebody posted this on my Facebook wall before and it's this alligator and he's raising his hand. Opening my mail, opening my mail. Oh my God, I don't want to rip Spider-Man. These are temporary tattoos. I just want to make a sleeve out of all of these. Can I do that? I saw some girl do that at the Bear in Heaven concert. She just like got a package of temporary tattoos and like made a sleeve. And they were all like crusty and peeling looking. I don't know. It was exciting. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try that. It's gonna be great. I'll do an outfit of the day. YouTube, Captain is love with a K. Thank you. I really like that. God, this is, this is talent right here. Talent! My talent is breathing. I am a good breather. And we have this fancy envelope from Gabby. And it has a mustache on it. Ooh! This is lovely. She painted me on a little baby canvas. I love it. It's almost like the old style, if you guys know about like antique and antique um, portrait miniatures. I love portrait miniatures. They're these little like antique small paintings. They're awesome. Uh, it's kind it's kind of like this. So like in 500 years, somebody will be buying this at an antique store. It'll be awesome. She sent me a yin yang necklace, and the most awesome thing about this is that it has two femo clay beads. Y'all remember that from the 90s? Femo femo beads. It looks so good, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I think so. You'll probably see all your letters again when I put them in the binder and then proceed to show the binder on a video. This has been a lengthy video now, I'm sure. So, uh, love you guys. Talk to you later. I hope y'all like the Swamp Family group. Please feel free to video response down below with any strange dream that you may have had. If you want, you can subscribe, especially for more vloggy craziness and everything else that I do. I really love vlogging though. I like to talk to you guys. You can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl, and I will see you guys later. Bye! Have a great week!